Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigvald here and welcome, welcome back to another video. So I'm going to go back on the video that they did last year in terms of characters worth maxing out. And I think that got the previous video a little bit confusing for some people was the fact that I tried to also give advice on how high star rating you should take the characters and on which characters you should build. Because there's characters that are required to be built but will work well enough from a certain star rating. There's characters that need to be the highest star rating but at the same time you do not need to build them. So to make it less confusing using this time I'm going to do two separate videos. First of all I'm going to go over what characters you should build and in the second video that I'll most likely do tomorrow I'm going to go over the required star rating for optimal performance for each character. So you can go and verify both of the tier list and see if that specific character is required to be high star rating and at the same time if it needs to be built or not and if that is a priority. As usual, I'll only keep in mind raids and Solaris performance, mainly Solaris performance, or inline champions right now can make anything work there, so it really doesn't matter what you build for those game modes. And Solaris is going to be where the most optimal progress is going to be. And we're going to have some certain tiers. I'm going to keep in mind in this one that it's going to be a very different situation for a lot of people. That's why we get some, some uh, interesting tiers here. We are going to have build first and build second, which are going to be characters that are going to be very high impact in build first, first of all. They're going to be very, very high impact characters and characters that you're going to more or less have easy enough access to. And in this tier that's called build as soon as possible, we're going to have characters that... Uh, are going to maybe not be so accessible to everybody to build, but you should eventually build those characters. Because, for example, you get stuff like Raven. Some people might get the 3-star Raven with absolutely no gears. Their only way to get the gears is from the gear chest. So while it would be a priority and Raven would be worth the build first tier, that's not going to be uh, pretty relatable for a lot of people. So that's why we have the tier that's called build as soon as possible. You're going to have to build those characters as soon as you can build them, but at the same time don't go out of your way to hinder your progress in terms of other things to get the gears for those specific characters. So yeah, that being said, if you'll enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe and to like it. And uh, yeah, let's go. And the, the doesn't matter tier, it's going to be, uh, it, it just doesn't matter for raids and swords. And the build, if you want to, are characters that can have somewhat of a use if built in raids and swords. But at the same time, I don't really regard it as a mandatory thing or really as a priority. Atlanta or Morocco, man, it, it doesn't matter. Useless in raids and swords. Ace Green Arrow, you're going to go get this guy into build if you want to, more like build if you need for this dude, because this dude is going to be mainly a power drainer and he's going to be one of the best characters in the game at power draining. But at the same time, this is not something that's required every single time or a lot of times. There are a lot of ways to bypass fights that need power training and there is artifacts that are able to do that if you have them. So Ace Green Arrow build if you want to. Arkham Knight Batman, I'm going to put him at build last. Don't get me wrong, he's a good character, but the thing is his passive makes him very tanky, more than doubling his health and giving him close to max out defense. So if you get this character, he's definitely not gonna be a priority in terms of building. You should eventually build him, and what I have done with mine, I have built him full tank with full health stats so he can tank in soul raids, uh, the super move of fights that have the berserk trait that makes them do crazy damage with the super move, but it's definitely not a priority. Armor Superman doesn't matter, Atrocitus, it doesn't matter. You can build him if you want to, but at the end of the day, I don't really think it matters. Uh, Silver Wonder Woman, doesn't matter. Black Adam, build if you want to. Yet again, this dude can be a replacement damage tier for your top 16s, but once you get um, all the characters in the game that you need, he's definitely not gonna make it in the top 16s. He, he might barely make it in the top 10, if that even. So, build if you want to. Uh, Bane, Silver Bane, build if you want to. This will be a character that you might be using uh, a lot in some certain teams because his passive that uh, uh, the first part of his passive gives him crit chance so that's that will be useless once you complete your builds but the part where that gives him uh, uh, and his team more damage on basic attack is going to be useful so you're going to use him as support character now he doesn't need to be built but you might want to eventually consider building him as a little bit of a tank to tank a super move here and there so yeah it's up to you 
Blue Beetle doesn't matter. Manta build as soon as possible. I'm gonna be very clear with this one. Manta is a hard character to get, Manta is a hard character to gear up, and Manta needs to be high star rating to function. But if you're able to uh, meet this criteria, then he's definitely going to be a good character for you. Uh, Batman to Robin, build if you want to. Again, he's mainly a support character, you just need him there for the passive, he's not gonna do anything other than sit there, but if, if you want to build him for some specific scenarios, or you might tag him in or stuff like that, you can build him, but it's not a priority. Uh, Blade Master Robin, doesn't matter. I mean, there could be the argument that, hey, he's a decent combo builder, you can, you can build him if you want to, and you can build him if you want to, but I don't think he deserves that here, because we just don't need combo builders, tell me, one team in the game that needs combo builders and doesn't already have a better, a better suited combo builder for that team. There, there's no team. That has that. Venom Flaps works very well without being built. Build him as soon as you have the resources to do so, as soon as you have the gears to do so, because that will help him deal his percentage damages a little bit faster and help him survive better. But at the same time, uh, if you don't have the resources to do so, just, just don't. He's, he's gonna do fine, you just have to be a little bit more careful. Batman Ninja Batman doesn't matter. Batman Ninja Catwoman. I'm gonna put her at... Uh, build first like it's going to be a little bit different than the legendary characters because she's going to have an arena season shark so you're going to get her easier and yes her gears are going to drop only from league rates and it might be a long process towards getting all the gears for her but at the same time you should start building her as one of your six teams even with two to three gears because she will do some decent work for you Batman Ninja Gorilla Grodd, uh, I'm going to put him at build last. There's definitely a lot of reason to build him because he can be a good combo builder. He can be a decent damage if you have Beta Club with Brainiac. But for most people, he's just going to sit there and be a support character for Batman Ninja Catwoman. So there's definitely reasons to build him, but no reason to prioritize it. Bat Ninja Harley, it doesn't matter. Uh... Batman Ninja or Joker? Well, build if you want to, because yet again he serves the same role as Black Adam. He's going to be a replacement damage dealer, the next best thing you can get for the Batman Ninja team uh, next to Catwoman. Obviously, if you're not using the Grodd Beta Club strat, but at that point you definitely do have the gears for Catwoman. So build if you want to. Yet again, you'd rather build Catwoman, but he's not too bad of a, of a thing to build. Brainiac, build last. He needs to be built, he needs to be a little bit tanky, he'll get in there, he'll use special one to increase the lethal attack damage of your team. He might tank a super move, but building him is not gonna be the most impactful thing. So leave that to last, but definitely consider building him. Uh, this Batman build if you want to. I've seen some people use uh, the classic Batman as a little bit of a combo builder, because he's got the passive where if the enemy misses a hit on him, you'll generate some power, so that's definitely something you could do to an extent, but at the same time, it, it's definitely not gonna be a must or a priority. Gold Captain Holt, nah bro. Cheetah, nah bro. We got Collector vs Superman, yet again build if you want to. This dude will be a good replacement damage there for Manta, so if you think you're not gonna get your hands on Manta very soon, and you're prioritizing other things, and you should prioritize other things before Manta, like Raven, Battle Flaps, Deathstroke, then there's definitely an argument to be made to build Collector vs Superman, and I have done that on my secondary account, and he has done wonders for that account, so definitely if you're in a scenario where you're not gonna be get Manta anytime soon, build him, but if you have Manta, there's not much of a reason to do so. A classic Superman, yet again, build if you want to. He will be there for you if you need defense reduction in some certain fights. And uh, you can build him, so you make sure he survives to deal that uh, damage reduction. And at the same time, you, you can kind of make him a decent combo builder, I guess. A classic Wonder Woman, yet again, build if you want to. She's mainly going to be a support character. She's going to be there for the passive. She's not going to do anything for the most part, but you can eventually build her. Basically the same logic as Silverbane. Deathstroke, uh, build as soon as possible, as soon as you have the resources to do so. But at the same time, it is definitely not a priority to do so. You can get his gears from his gear chest or special offers, so that's gonna be 
quite quite a long way and uh, he does basically all the damage that he needs to do he, he's going to work at 98 percent efficiency as soon as you play it well and not die without any gears but at the same time if you can get the gears easily enough you might as well build him we got dark super girl it doesn't matter dark side doesn't matter uh, Ichiel, uh, you can build him if you want to into somewhat of a combo builder, I guess, because yet again, you might be using him in some very, very specific scenarios in Soul Raids for his passive that's uh, able to give you some uh, chance to stun the enemy against shielded fights. So if for those fights you'll eventually feel like you need to have him built, you can, you can build him to an extent. And I know, I, I basically said it doesn't matter if you build Dark Side, that boy, build your build your gold Green Lantern, your Emerald Green Lantern. Bec this is because it's mainly Raising Soul Raids, uh, like, I don't care about Arena Champions Arena. Enraged Pain doesn't matter. Uh, Entangling Poison Ivy, uh, build second. She's gonna have a challenge, if they ever bring that back. She's gonna have gear drops from League Raids. So you're going to eventually get the gears for her. She's going to be a great character and she's going to mainly serve the purpose of a support character in the last left Joker team. But she, uh, unlike Robin and how he does for the Batman Ninja team, EPI is going to be far more likely to get tagged in there to heal characters because she heals less of Joker or Harley if needed on basic attack hits. So while I don't think it should be a priority it's not gonna definitely not gonna be on the build first year you should eventually build your api fire sword doesn't matter flora poison ivy doesn't matter golden armor wonderman build if you want to i guess it's basically the same thing as collector versus superman uh, replacement damage there for manta but at the same time i would go with collector Mainly because people have just more shards for Collector because his challenge has been out for a while and I have tested Collector and I know he can do some damage, I don't know about her, I haven't even unlocked her yet. So yeah, Greed doesn't matter. I don't know about Grid, my dudes. I think I'm gonna put him also at build if you want to because he's got the passive that uh, allows him uh, to not be power drained at all so you can have him as a combo builder in fights that have power drain hazards on the ground but yet again there's a lot of ways to bypass that but i'm gonna i'm gonna leave him at build if you want to but it's really not something mandatory and keep in mind do not touch the build if you want to tier until you have completed everything in the above tiers maybe collector can be an exception for that i guess Next we have Harley, it's going to be in uh, build first. I mean with her, the, the thing with her is, she's going to be hard to gear up. You might want to open the League of Arcade gear chest, she's going to be hard to get. So in that regard it's going to be more or less the Manta situation. But she's going to bring far more value to your account than Manta and she's arguably easier to build and max out than Manta, especially because she's a gold character so you have the option to uh, get yourself uh, some uh, CA shards to promote her faster. Elboy, build if you want to. Yet again, same reason as Grids. He heals instead of tank damage from dot damage, so he can be a very good tank in, in fights that have hazards on the ground that would deal dot to you, but at the same time, it, it doesn't matter. Perfect Scarecrow. I, I don't really find a... Yeah, I guess build if you want to. Uh, you can build him a bit tanky to an extent to, to tank some super move because you might be using him in sorry fights nowadays with the Kim Flint Sakomen. But at the same time, even if you do so, you, you don't have to build him. Like, not, not at all. I don't... Then again, we have Bane there, so I guess you can we can put him in build if you want to. But again, it doesn't really matter. Mainly, he's used a bit nowadays in the Kinflan Sakomen or Snow Globe team to increase the power cost of the enemy uh, to the point where um, the clones have a better chance of surviving. That's definitely not a mandatory thing. Hush doesn't matter. Uh, Atlantic armor, not Atlantic armor, the uh, Just League Aquaman, build if you want to, it's going to be basically the same reason as Robin, he's going to serve as support character for the uh, Just League team, the Flash Just League team that we're going to talk about, and in that team usually you want to build Flash first, second Cyborg and Aquaman if you want to, though you don't have to, so I guess I'm just gonna leave him there, uh, Just League Batman doesn't matter, Cyborg uh, build uh, second I guess, it's either second or last 
with, with Cyborg because the thing with Cyborg is he needs to be eventually built because Just League team will be in some fights where he needs to power drain and he's got that second special for that. He can uh, set up Dark Mail cards for Flash in Sorays where he's not using Dark Mail cards. So yeah, I, I guess build last because he's not going to be as high impact as EPI and you can definitely run far better Just League team without Cyborg build and you can run uh, League of America without EPI build. We have uh, Just League Superman. I'm going to put him at build if you want to actually, because this dude is just too hard to get for how much he does to the point where it's very, very hard for me to justify it, to, to put him in a mandatory place. He's good, but Just League Flash can do a better job in most scenarios. And even if you're going to put Just League Flash as a support character for another team, then you just don't use the Just League team because we do have far more than six capable teams nowadays. Just League Flash build second Mm. Yeah, build second. Like the thing with Flash, I, I could definitely put it first if we were talking only free to play specifically. Because he's going to definitely be a very long time in your top six teams. But uh, you eventually might cycle him out as support for less of Joker and he will no longer be a damage dealer. So I guess build him second. But yet again, if you're going to go through the build first tier and you are missing characters and you have built all the characters that you have in that tier, then you can definitely go down the tiers. You have John Silver Lantern build if you want to. He's usually used as support character to not get power drained by hazards. You might as well build him a bit as a tank. Nightmare Batman doesn't matter. Kim Flint Sako and build as soon as possible. You get him from the League Store, you get his gears from there. They should be the very first character built on every single account. Last of Joker, build as soon as possible. He's got the challenge, he drops charts from League Raids, he drops gears from League Raids, he drops gears from challenge. Most likely another damage share that you might have access to early enough if you're lucky. So you need DPI, but build as soon as possible. Martian Manhunter, build if you want to. It's gonna be somewhat of a replacement combo builder for Sir Banshee team. In some scenarios, he'll be better than Reverse Flash, but he'll just be very, very slightly better. So like if you randomly get him like I got him from the Labor Day chest and you can just buy his gears outright you can you can definitely build him but even so on the second on the main account even since I got uh, his gears I used him a bit at the start after I got him and then I ended up not using him at all so there's definitely some extent of use to him but at the same time just go with reverse flash my dudes Mr. Freeze build as soon as possible Yet again, a Manta situation. He's gonna do better the higher star rating he is. He's gonna have gears hard to acquire and he kind of needs beta club, so that's something you might want to keep in mind. A uh, master certificate to man, but it doesn't matter. Multiverse Armor Supergirl built second. Yet again, she's going to be a reliable enough damage dealer, but you're not gonna be very likely to have her early unless you catch her arena season. Her arena season is going to be on the anniversary of Injustice Mobile every year. And that's gonna be in uh, April or May, I don't remember correctly. Just just Google Injustice Mobile or release date on, and you, you, you'll easily find out. But if you get your hands on her, you can definitely consider building her, but you shouldn't go out of your way to build her. Multiverse Black Lightning doesn't matter, Multiverse Batman doesn't matter, Multiverse Captain Cold doesn't matter, Multiverse Green Arrow doesn't matter either. Like, if you could make the argument of, oh, but you might need uh, Multiverse Green Arrow against fights that uh, need to be power drained and you need to play the Multiverse team there. I mean, yes, to an extent, but Multiverse team deals such less damage in Sol Raid specifically compared to the other teams, to, to the point where it just doesn't matter if you're gonna use that team or not to an extent and in league rates he's not necessary i guess we, you can build him if you want to Let, let's just put him there multiverse super eagle doesn't matter flash build second i guess yeah let's let's put him at build second it's going to be a good combo builder for any team for that matter he gives great damage to any team not only to Multiverse Armored Supergirls, so that's gonna be useful. Three fast tech hits. So yeah, you, you can consider building him as soon as you get him, but not before your damage dealers. And yeah, you might have noticed the pattern. I'm going to heavily prioritize damage dealers instead of combo builders or other support characters. And I'm also prioritizing them in terms of how much damage they deal and how much usefulness they bring to you after they are built. 
Because that's the build order, that's how it should go. Uh, Multiverse White Canary doesn't matter, Mythic One Room doesn't matter, uh, Nightwing doesn't matter, Prater Batman... Build last... I mean, he's got various uses, but at the same time you, you could just not build him if you have the resources to not do so. And yeah, it sounds weird if you have the resources to not build him, because he's usually a replacement for Arkham Knight Batman, for setting up stunts for Harley, so you can definitely do that. And he can be a decent combo builder for, for Solar Banshee, disabling uh, the specials of the enemy with his special one. But at the same time, you could just get away with not building him if you have uh, Arkham Knight Batman, or if you're not using the Harley League of Arkham until you get Arkham Knight Batman. So this one is up to you, but unlike, unlike Arkham Knight Batman, if you do make the decision to use him, then uh, you should build him, because he doesn't get the uh, default tanky stats. Power Girl, build if you want to. Like, she's gonna be a support character for a lot of teams because of uh, her ability to power reduce. But the thing is, in every single team where she is the support character, she's basically never gonna also be the combo builder. First of all, because she doesn't have the greatest basic tech hits in the game. And second of all, because kind of all the teams that use her usually have a combo builder or something else that sets up something else. She's just gonna hang back in the background just giving you those uh, reduced power bars, and she's great for that, but doesn't be, uh, really need to be built for that. Uh, power Supergirl, no. Swamp Thing, no, no, no. No, so, some of you might be like, Sigval, Swamp Thing should be in the, the build first year now, nah, bro. Nah. Raiden, doesn't matter. Raven, build as soon as possible. Raven can function without being built. I have purposefully not bought Gears for Raven on my secondary account to prove that point. You're going to be far better off if you can build Raven, don't get me wrong, that's gonna be a very, very good change, but if you don't have the resource at the moment to invest into getting Raven's Gears, don't build her yet. Build her as soon as you do have those resources. She can function just fine if you play properly without Gears. Red Hoods. Build if you want to. Yet again, it's going to be basically the same scenario as Spargill support character. He gets in the fight to use the super move to extend duration, and you can build him to be a combo builder for some certain teams in some certain scenarios. But you, you don't have to build him. Uh, so recommend uh, doesn't matter. Uh, Black and Air, I don't know which one of it it is, but doesn't matter. So Ruben, she build first. Like, she's, she's gonna do a lot of damage, she's always going to be, like, in terms of damage, she's quite comparable to Just League Flash that they put in the build second tier. But Just League Flash requires Cyborg, so Banshee requires Reverse Flash and Power Girl, those are in their league store, so you're far more likely to complete your Sir Banshee team before that. She's got the challenge with gear drops in it, and uh, the, the thing is, Just League Flash might go as a support character for another team, but Sir Banshee will always be a standalone team, and uh, you will find yourself using that team until very, very later in the game, and... Uh, I still always use her on my secondary account and sometimes use her on my main account, so definitely a character you should prioritize building. Sir Batman, doesn't matter. I mean, he can be used as a replacement character for, for a damage there, but I'm not gonna do that because people people are gonna start a game, have Sir Bash in the roster, look at this list, see Silver Batman in there and are gonna be like, okay, it's sell, Silver Batman being built as the first year now, bro. He's overall trash, but trash you can you can show some love to, but I'm, I'm just not gonna do it. Uh, Sir Catwoman doesn't matter. Sir Cyborg doesn't matter. Dr. Fate is going to be a combo builder in a lot of scenarios, so I'm going to put him at build last. Or do we put him at build second? That's quite interesting. Uh, let's put him at build second, because he's going to be the standalone combo builder for Kim Flint Sakomen. You're going to end up in a scenario where you don't really need that, because Skinflant Sakomen might go to Raven with Beta Club, but it's just good to have a Dr. Fate build there. I just remember when starting every account that I have started, building a Dr. Fate was never a bad idea. So let's just drop him in the build second here. A server Deadshot doesn't matter, Speed Force Flash doesn't matter. I mean, I did put Sir Bane in here, and he's kind of on the same tier with Silver, with Speed Force Flash as far as um, 
almost not doing anything to support, but still doing something else. But difference is Speed Force Flash gives fast actions only, and that can be acquired and maxed out in the build. Bane gives damage on basic attack hits. And at the same time, the only situations where I find myself using Speed Force Flash in solo raids is in the Sarah Banshee team when there's a fight where there's chaos tagging or restricted tagging, where I can't tag in and out my Sarah Banshee, and in that scenario, she needs some fast actions that is not on her build. And I'm not gonna put it for that fight specifically, so I put Speed Force Flash in there, but I really don't feel like it needs to be built. Zero Green Arrow doesn't matter, Silver Gorilla Grow doesn't matter, uh, Zero Green Lantern doesn't really matter. Like, he's used, I, I mean, you can if you want to, I guess, build him to an extent as a little bit of a tank. It's only used in the Manta team usually to uh, allow Manta to basically not need to combo in shop because of the shield that he gives, because the shield that Zero uh, uh, Green Lantern gives is not going to be broken by the enemy's hits. Server Harley doesn't matter. Shazam, build if you want to. Definitely do not prioritize building Shazam. Some people might be like, well, I have Dr. Fate and I have Shazam and I have Kim Flat Sakomen team. They all go in the same team. Let's just build Shazam. No, that's that's a bad idea. Your Shazam will have a passive that will will, will make him disabled in, in soul rates. And that passive is a chance to trigger his um, third special for free. And you might be like, oh, that's amazing, free heals. No, in Swords it sucks ass, because he will trigger that at the worst moments ever, and when you don't need it to end, it just wastes time. So if you're going to choose one of them, just choose Dr. Fate. You can eventually build your Shazam, and you can find that some use for him in uh, Soul Raids, but it definitely not as a priority. Silver Robin, yet again, it doesn't matter. This dude can be a very decent combo builder, but... Who cares? We don't need more combo builders, that's a problem. Uh, Sir Scarecrow doesn't matter, Solster Dr. Fate doesn't matter, Deadshot doesn't matter, Enchantress doesn't matter, Harley doesn't matter, Silver Superman doesn't matter, Silver Something doesn't matter, Starfire doesn't matter, Silver Flash doesn't matter, um, Silver Joker doesn't matter, uh, Sub Zero doesn't matter, Silver Black and Canary doesn't matter, Silver Wonder Woman doesn't matter, Silver Gorilla Grow doesn't matter, and uh, Reverse Flash, build second is going to be a very good combo builder for your Silver Banshee. But at the same time, you should first build Silver Banshee as the damage dealer, and then consider building him. But definitely build him eventually. Unbreakable Cyborg doesn't matter. Unhinged Harley doesn't matter. Vixen. So Vixen is going to be a decent support character. She's going to go in the build if you want to tier. You can get away with just not building her. You'll need her just for her passive, but she can be a decent combo builder if you choose to use her that way. And War Queen Wonder Woman doesn't matter. So yeah, that's, that's the list. We, we got some characters to build here. And I really, really wanted to make it clear what your priorities are. So yet again, the build first tier is going to pretty much take priority over everything else, no matter the scenario. But the build as soon as possible might take priority in some scenarios uh, against the build seconds. But at the same time, there's very, very few people who will have access to building the characters in the build as soon as possible tier before having access to build uh, second tier. So most likely how it will go you'll, go, you'll go over as many characters as you can from the build first tier. When you are running out of characters you can build, for example, you don't have gears for Harley, you're done with your Catwoman, you don't have gears for Joker for some reason, you're going to move into build second tier. In the build second tier, you're going to build your damage tiers. Let me actually order it for you in, in the first two tiers, because this is important. So Kim Flan Sakuman goes first over everything else on, on, on all accounts. Last of Joker most likely goes second, because you're not gonna have gears for Harley for a while. Silver Banshee goes third, because you're going to get her gears, and Catman yet again might be lacking gears. But yet again, if you have gears for Harley, definitely build her. And in this build second, we're going to go with Flash first, if you get him and if you get Cyborg. Because he's going to do a lot of damage if you build him in Soul Rates. Again, if, if played properly. Build EPI, multi yeah, the, the rest of it is, is fine the way it is, to an extent. But yeah, hope this helped, and yet again. This is just building, building, getting gears in there, getting rolls on the gears. If you're looking for how high star rating you should have specific characters, then come tomorrow whenever I feel like doing that video again.
But yeah, hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Let me know in the comments if you think I was wrong about something or if you changed something about this list. That being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.